Another reaction trailing the joint session of the National Assembly was a song of allegiance on your mandate, We Shall Stand, which was used to usher in President Bola Ahmed Tinubu before he presented the budget. Well, let's take a listen before we come back for a discussion. So, distinguished colleagues and honorable members, let us at this point welcome the president, a man with track record, <laughs> an alumnus God, of the National Assembly. <laughs> to present his budget estimates. Can we give him a resounding applause? Let's take some reactions. This is the big way. His tweet reads, National Assembly singing for Tinubu. We have witnessed rubber stamp Senate under Ahmed Lawan. But this God's will Akpavio Senate is a collection of hype men. He has moved from wearing Tinubu's insignia cap to on your mandate hyperlord right on the floor of the Senate. Every well-meaning Nigerian must condemn this rendition of Tinubu's campaign tune in the National Assembly Chamber, an evidence of outright totalitarianism. Dr. Abati. This is how it starts. Mm -hmm. Hero worship. Yes, sir. This is how <laughs> parliaments in Africa turn their presidents into dictators. The National Assembly of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, if we check both chambers, both red and green, a collection of members from different political parties, Labour Party is there, PDP is there. Uh, uh, Apuga is there, you know, other political parties are there. So it's, it, it, it's a place for lawmaking, for good governance, an oversight assembly. This kind of open psychophancy is uh, it's primitive, if I may use that word. On your mandate we stand is the slogan, is the song, you know, for the APC. Right. So the APC cannot hijack a, 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 a bipartisan uh, National Assembly, you know, uh, uh, where there are other political parties representing the interests of Nigerians. And if you look at the result of the election, it's not every Nigerian that is standing on the mandate of uh, President Tinubu. When the president arrives at an occasion, the appropriate thing to play is the national anthem. Correct. And I hope that uh, these uh, lawmakers are not going to pursue the idiocy of uh, playing uh, APC song at uh, public events, the recognized song in Nigeria is the national anthem. If they want, and uh, uh, the presentation of the budget before the National Assembly is a national occasion, not an APC occasion. If you recall, during the Niger crisis, I know that the president is the ECOWAS chair, they played the same song of allegiance there. The allegiance will be to the constitution, I mean, not to an individual. Dr. Rufa is... Uh, I'm blown here this yeah. morning because... Go God help me. At first, shame on all our National Assembly members. I was seated there where another song of allegiance were played. Shame. And if we truly had a country, if we truly had a republic, by now, those in their constituency should be sending them letters to show how disgruntled they are, and if possible, recalling them. It is that bad. We are losing the country with psychophancy. But what level of madness have we got into in this country? It's a whole new level of madness. What level of madness are we doing? At the hollow chamber? By playing that song, a partisan song, they desecrated the hollow chamber. And they must account for it. The parliament is for the people. The people of Nigeria. Parlement. The meaning of the parliament is parlement, to speak on behalf of the people. Not to do political sentiment and hypocrisy or listen to songs of allegiance post to a certain political party. And there were some other lawmakers that they couldn't talk. How would they be able to talk? Maybe we're telling Labour Party lawmakers, when they were part of those that collected the 160 million for cars, will they have the nerve to speak? We're telling part lawmakers from other parties to discountenance that they didn't do it. But how would they be able to talk? Oh, we are. forget Everyone's in a hurry, Oji. We forget that there are three co 
unequal arms of government in this country. The judiciary, the legislature, and the executive. President Tinubu is the head of one equal arm, the executive. The legislature has the head of his own arm. But we have a legislator that don't even know themselves and they are cartoying to the executive. They are worse than copy and paste now. They are worse than robot. They are hype men, as big we call them. Hype men. So shame on all of them for not understanding that they are a co equal arm of government in this country and they are singing an allegiance song. Mm -hmm. Well, all right. To well, the executive. Sir. You can see you can see where we've we started. Yeah. I mean I thought it was important to highlight <laughs> it. We don't need a hype man at the National Assembly. Do not forget to subscribe and drop your comment at the comment section as we continue to give you updates on activities across the nation. I am Mbam Sylvester, Gimiro TV.